What is going on guys? Today we are looking at second in form Carrasco. He is currently, well he's practically extinct at 150 on both consoles. I think he is fluctuating. Some people are picking him up now and putting him out for like 140, 150 knowing that there's... It's been quite a few hours and we haven't seen an increase in his price range. More than likely, if we still like it before rewards, they may up it depending on if rewards do bring out a lot of the, a lot of the, the player. To be honest, he will go down a little bit. I think his 84 is coming in at 34,000 coins. It's a big upgrade. It's another plus two. He's come from an 82 gold card and now he's an 86. What I want to know is, who do you want in red picks? Let me know down below and let's get into the review. We have got the Atletico Belgium left mid, the four star, four star, the five foot 11, I was going to say six foot, the high attacking, low defensive work rate left mid is a very nice card. He's not necessarily your first choice left mid as left mid has so many good roles this year. Neymar, Rashford, Sterling, you've then got all the icons, obviously naming quite a few. You've got plenty of them and then just on top of it all, you've now got some really good... I say average cards to start with and now turn it into a very nice card. We had player of the month, Bamba, who was quite a, a statted card. And this guy is no different. Great pace, great shooting, passing's decent, dribbling's very nice, physicals, not so much. And then defensive is non-existent, which obviously being an attacking left mid, you can kind of justify that he is going to be more left wing, left forward. You could even probably put him as like a kind of like center forward cam jobby. He is 5'11", so he's not necessarily the tallest player on the pitch, which means agility is fantastic. Unfortunately, balance is only 74. Composure is only 81, but his dribbling is 90. His ball control is 86. He's got plenty of stats to kind of back it up and, and pad out the, the not necessarily the greatest stats. So it's really nice to see. His passing wise is average. I think it's it, he is more of an uh, attacking shooter more than a crosser or a passer. He does get assists and we do see in the clips that he does manage to get a few assists in the game, but he is more on about the shooting. And honestly, he was a nice card. I was... A bit surprised by him. I've only played with his inform for very, very few amount of games. And it was quite a while ago, I believe. So I, I can't remember too much of him. But I actually rated this card. I would happily have him in my red picks. And if he is still extinct by the morning, then definitely just watch out on that price increase. Because he probably will go up. More than likely, if he does make it to 8 o'clock and is still completely off the market, you will end up getting a lot flooded the market which will be for lower price because everyone puts them up for 150 and then obviously with the supply and the demand more than likely you'll see him drop down by quite a bit but i think personally he's a decent card he's got the stats obviously you can go with maybe like a finisher you get that attacking bonus um personally for me that would be the better one which I believe people are looking at engine or marksman, but I think with a finisher, you've got a more complete attacking player with 99 um, finishing, 90 attacking positioning. You get that balance up to 79. You get 99 dri um, dribbling and agility. I don't think you can miss out on that opportunity. But let's have a look at some gameplay, see what Crasco can do. So again, we used Cancelo in a few reviews ago and we forced it with him. We tried to feed him in it. We tried to get him down the pitch. And honestly, Crasco was effortlessly. He was beautiful down that wing. We came up against some really good opponents, so I always like that. I like going against one player who just cannot play to get the clips. And then I love playing against a really hard opponent just to see... Can he do it? I'm, I'm not necessarily awful at the game. I'm nowhere near elite level. Or I'm not really that... Well, I'm quite far away from elite level. But in general, I'm not awful at the game. So it's nice to come up against a really challenging opponent. And someone with a good team. I don't really want to come up against a kind of B team, a C team. Because... It, it's almost like false reviewing. I like a big team. I like coming up against the Mendes, the Walkers, because I can show you what Carrasco really does. We was coming up against Kante. Obviously, it was more of a Premier League squad that we were coming up against. We did have a bit of Bundesliga in there as well, which obviously Tavernier, you've got a, as a right back, is second in form. And honestly, he held his own. 
He really, really did hold his own, managing to get down every single time. He has the dribbling. He has a very nice kind of movement to him, always pushing forward. And that's something that I really like. And in general, the crossing side of it, I felt was decent enough. Um, would I say it was his main attribute? Most definitely not. But more than likely, he's got an option to do. He can either pass it across or he will drill it in himself. And honestly, that's not a bad little stat. Lovely little uh, nick off the keeper there just to save that one. But honestly... Just played really well. But the one thing that always does uh, kind of concern me is that composure. Is it enough? So going into the overall then. Personally, I've given him a big boy rating. 9.2. There's a couple of things I would like to change. The composure definitely needs to be higher. As we go further into the game, I want that more. He's going to be a player that's going to be attacking the goal. I want to have complete faith in my attackers. And if and it's no different on the left or right mid. They need to have more. The balance definitely could do with a little bit of an upgrade. We already have a chem style on it, giving it a plus 5. So it would be nice to go, I'd say... I want to say 82, 83 and above. I feel that then I will be more content as we already have pretty much 99 agility. We have great dribbling, reactions, ball control are all there. In terms of other stats, I think pace doesn't need any more. Obviously, it will go up if we do get a higher rated one. But I think in general, he's quite happy there. Um, shooting wise, I think again, would be nice of an upgrade. We've already got it to 95. Can we push it even more with more upgrades? That would always be nice. And then kind of like as the overall finish, I'd like more passing. It makes him into this more all round player. And I think if he was to get them upgrades, so say more on the dribbling in, in the sense of balance and composure and then more passing, I think you're looking at a fantastic cam right there. You get an 88 Carrasco, you're absolutely laughing. Unfortunately, we probably won't be getting ahead Headliner version just because he's in team of the week now very much like Rashford anyone in this team of the week isn't getting one it just isn't unfortunately he did only just get a second in form so if we did get this a week or two ago we may have seen a headline of Carrasco which would have been insane because more than likely I believe they go up by plus one and then they're always a plus one above so we'd already have an 87 then potentially an 88 if they do win I think it's three games in a row this year very interesting to see. But in terms of generation for him, then let's have a look. What was he like in the past? He is only 27, so he's been around since FIFA 14 with a silver, couple of golds, managing to get his first in form in FIFA 16, then his first team of the season in 17, a quiet one in 18, a manager to get, a, I think it was a community team of the season in 19, and then a storyline in 20. We've already got two in forms. He's starting off better. Hopefully, he can continue that form into the new year and really smash it out a third fourth in form Carrasco would be absolutely phenomenal and the price will keep going up so if we do look I think he is yeah 150 on both so quite a high price and it shows you that already what was about six seven hours after the release he's already still uh, extinct that is very nice to see obviously people are trying to kind of make coins on him as well but I feel like he will drop I, I can't see him going for more than 100 even with how good he is I still think under 100 because he's 86 rated he's not necessarily the big boy Rashford who's coming in at a mil he will drop down and more than likely will be probably sitting around the 100k mark and is he worth it I think so I feel like he's a good player he'll add to your La Liga squad and really can do some damage but hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. We have one more review coming out before 8 o'clock, which I believe is going to be Mart Martinez on the left forward side. So stay tuned for that. Like and subscribe. We're nearly at 7K. And I'll see you for the next one.